I'm Charles Osgood, and this is Sunday Morning. In the never-ending search for something new, more and more of us these days are finding comfort in something old, our roots. Our own lives are only part of a bigger story. To know who we are and where we are headed, we must first have a sense of the past and of those whose lives produced our own. Basic as that may be, it isn't easy, as Rita Braver will report in our cover story. They are prowling through graveyards, poring over old documents. An explosion of interest in genealogy. It's solving a mystery. Uh, it's like a treasure hunt. Later, in our Sunday morning cover story, we'll find out why so many Americans of our time are searching for their relatives from times gone by. DNA's of limited use. At most, it can tell you whether two people have a common ancestor. Nothing about who that ancestor is. Professional genealogists like Tony Burroughs are interested in the new technology, but say it will never replace the detective work that goes into real genealogical research. You really start with your family and you identify your living relatives and you get oral stories from them. And then you look in things like uh, your family Bible, you look in insurance papers, things around the house and trunks and attics and stuff. And then there's the thrill of going to the National Archives to confirm facts about your great-great-granduncle. Why did you need to come here and cement mm -hmm. the fact that he exists here on the well, census? Well, here's the thing. He didn't live in isolation. He had a family. These are supposed to be my ancestors. So why, I wanted to know who was his wife, who were his kids, and then who did his kids marry, who did their kids marry. I might still have some other descendants <laughs> around here that I didn't know, I've never met. It's a new relative, you know. Burroughs has spent years reconstructing his own family tree. Here's my mother, my grandmother, my great-grandmother, my great-great-grandmother, my great-great-great-grandmother. Learning about relatives that include a buffalo soldier, a bank robber, and a distinguished lawyer. And I guess that's what most families would have, a little bit of the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> <Is that laughs> right, 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 exactly. Is that's that exactly right? what yeah. it is, yeah. Burroughs has written a book called Black Roots, a guide to helping African Americans with the special problems that exist in tracing their family trees. Uh, when white immigrants came over from Europe, their ship passenger lists with names on them. People registered at Ellis Island and there's names there. When slaves came over from Africa, there's no names on those slave ship logs. So that's problematic.